Alright folks, this is Pitching Ace 88 and we are back playing Criminal Case on Facebook, Pacific Bay. We're going to be going on to case number four. Let's head on over to the dead girl rolling. Hello Ace. Hi Amy. You're just in time for the competition to begin. Have you seen a roller derby game before? It's so much fun. I don't know about you, Commander Ace, but I'm still not sure how it's played. Teams of girls on roller skates score points by pushing each other off the track? Well, pretty much. You need to be fast, fierce, and show some skin. It's all about girl power. You'll love it. The Helter Skelters are leading by five points, but there's still plenty of time for the Pacific Pixies to fight back. This competition is the Battle of Roller Derby's Finest. Go kick some butt, girls. Helter Skelters forever. Susie the Slayer is leading the jam, but there's Mona Middlefinger trying to block her, and uh-oh, did you see that? Mona pushed Susie hard enough to send her flying. Penalty, I hear you say? Don't worry, these girls not a roll with the punches, although it's strange she's not getting up. Su Susie the Slayer is down, ladies and gentlemen, Susie is down, and the game is suspended while the medics find out how serious her injuries are. Oh, the poor girl must have gotten knocked unconscious. Commander Ace, please, let's go down to the rank and see if we can be of help. Dead girl rolling. Super excited. So please, guys, if you guys can throw a like down below. I think we're going to do something where if I get over 200 likes, I will upload a video um, once that happens. If you guys can share the video and you can get all those likes, you guys can actually get Chapter 2 um, pretty quickly. Alright, so let's see. Okay, so it's on the ground somewhere. Huh. Alright, whatever, we'll, we'll just go from there. Card. Inflatable unicorn, TV truck, sport bag, and ice cream, which I do not know where it is. Oh my gosh. Right in the middle. Always where I screw up. Wow, I can't believe it. Susie Pickley is dead? I know Derby's play it rough, but how could she have just died from being pushed? It's not the push that killed her. Commander Ace is right. Look at Susie's face. It's all swollen and blue. She must have been poisoned. So we're dealing with another murder. Time to get my notebook out. Commander Ace, I'm sure you already spotted some suspicious elements around the crime scene. You've got the victim's force bag. Good call. I bet we'll learn a lot by rooting through it. And this fan card, you picked it up so it's tattered, so you can't even read the owner's name. I hope you can retrieve it, Commander Ace. It might be Lead. Oh, and you're right, we should also talk to the woman who pushed Susie. I think her name was Mona something. I'll go find her for you. Well, I'll leave you guys to it. I'm headed back to the lab. Too much sunshine can be lethal. I'll make sure Roxy gets the victim's body, Ace. Well, thank you. Dude, that's crazy, crazy, crazy. So we're going to start with the autopsy, get that thing going. Um, and somebody wanted to show uh, Grimsboro, so I'll show you guys Grimsboro real quick before I bid you guys adieu and go grab some stars. But this is basically Grimsboro, you can go back, you can see any of the cases that you've already been to. Um, as you guys all know, with, uh, with my panda bear, uh, you know, you get that by getting a certain amount of stars. I'm still trying to get 56 stars, so the only ones I need to get left are I need to finish up a couple of these back in the um, in the historical center. Once that gets done, though, I'll be getting 56 stars, which is going to be pretty sweet. Um, so anyways, guys, stay tuned, please, and we'll get on with Chapter 1. See you guys in a little bit. This has been Pitching Ace 88. Au revoir. Alright folks, let's examine this bag. We got I gotta grab some stars. Oh, a lot of headphones. Earrings, I'm assuming. Oh a charm. Hmm, you found a tiny star in our victim sports bag. I'm not sure what to think about that. 
Oh, I know who can help us, Commander Ace. You haven't met Russell Crane yet, have you? Oh, you're in for a treat. He's our profile. Let's set that star to him. Awesome, guys. Now, I didn't know who this guy was, but um, he is apparently a profiler. So he's kind of... He's kind of like that guy that you send stuff to in the CSI shows that will um, help you kind of solve some crimes just by, like, profiling people. Well, the Der Derby fan club card you found on the crime scene belongs to a certain Howard Pickley. Didn't Hannah mention that her victim's last name was Pickley? Slayer wasn't just her Derby name. So this Howard must be related to her. Of course I'm related to her. She's my wife. I can't believe I wasn't allowed to see her body. <laughs> Susie was married to you, Mr. Pickley? I didn't think that you... That she, um... I mean, we're very sorry. Crime scenes are always locked for security reasons. But Commander Ace will need to talk to you about your wife. Poor guy. It's always the husband. Alright, let's talk to Mona, though. She looks she looks pretty bitchin'. Yes, I pushed Susie. You have to push them to score points in this game. Go Pacific Pixies. Kill, kill. Mrs. Middlefinger, you do realize Susie's dead, don't you? Well, it's not my fault she's dead. I'm a blocker. My job is to, like, block her. I just did that. I couldn't know she was so dainty. What about the other derby players, or the fans? Did you notice anything suspicious before the match started? Uh, where the girls are, are in shorts, there's bound to be a couple of creeps lurking. But we can handle them, because we're, like, tough, and we're the Pacific Pixie. I, I think we get the idea. Thank you, Mona. Commander Ace, did Mona seem a little excitable to you? Or is that the violence in roller derby? Um, damages the brain. I like, yeah, I like the fact that Amy's back with us. Alright, what's up, Howard? Oh my Susie, my darling, how am I to face this world without her? Who will do the cooking? Who will iron my shirts? Uh, had, had you and Susie been married for a long time? We were high school sweethearts. She was homelier in those days. But still, I knew I would never find someone better than her, so I proposed as soon as we graduated. We had a quiet life before she took to roller derby. I encouraged her, came to all the matches, but now I wish she'd kept to her roof garden instead. She loved it, and gardening was a safe hobby. Oh, I can't bear to think of living on my own. I'm not cut out for the single life. Commander Ace, I think poor Mr. Pickley is in no state to drive. Do you think we should give him a lift to his place? Oh, and you're right. Howard's house is where the, also where the victim lived, so we absolutely have to search for clues, or to learn something about the victim's life. A roof garden, yes. I remember Mr. Pickley mentioned Susie spent a lot of time in her garden. I agree. It sounds like a promising lead. Let's start and search there. Sounds good to me. We're getting like 7%. That's actually really good. So this is the victim's garden. It looks so peaceful and beautiful. It's hard to imagine the woman who took care of this garden also enjoyed something as violent as roller derby, don't you think? Let's have a look around. Why don't we have a look around? Ooh, very colorful. I love this. I've been playing those old cases and I realize that uh, it's, <laughs> it's not as colorful as this. It's sometimes hard to figure out where everything is. What the pan flute is. There it is. There's this. This is Zen Garden. Oh, there's the Zen Garden, my bad. Yoga mat. Book. Oh, there's that. And then Bird is right here. Well, what's that book you spot on the victim's garden, Commander Ace? The Woman Warrior. Oh, and there's a message inside. For Susie, read it. Well, obviously someone really wanted the victim to read this book, but who? Oh, good idea, Commander Ace. I'll get the powder kit out and you can swipe the book for fingerprints. There's a good chance we'll find some that belong to the owner of the book. It's like girl power with the fist. It's kind of funny. I'll bet you her husband actually gave her this book. Maybe? Oh, constant spell. That is the lady from 
the librarian. How do you do it, Commander Ace? Every time I try to gather prints, they end up all smudged. But the fingerprints you found on this book are crystal clear. Now, if you have a look in the police fingerprint database, you might find who gave this book to the victim. I'll keep my fingers crossed, Commander Ace. Yeah, well, I guess we'll have to figure out who that is. found a match. The fingerprints you found on that book in the victim's garden belonged to a certain Mrs. Pickley. Oh, another Pickley. Apparently she was arrested 18 years ago for unruly behavior during a woman's rights march. And the record shows she is Howard Pickley's mother. So she was her victim's mother-in-law. Well, you're right. We need to talk to her about her victim. Eee. Mother-in-law. That's gotta be pretty scary. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna actually grab a couple more stars and I'll see you guys right back here. Alright guys, let's go talk to uh, Barbara now. They both have charms, so charms are definitely going to play in, so it's definitely not the husband. Well, Susie was like a daughter to me. When she met Howard, she was just a shy wallflower. But I had hopes for her than I ever had for my son. The poor thing. What hopes did you have for Susie, Mrs. Pickley? Women have responsibilities in this world. I wanted Susie to be confident, to know her strength. So that's why I gave her the book. It doesn't befit a woman to be weak and helpless. So many men are like Howie, flapping about and whining, expecting us to take care of them. I wanted more for Susie. Just because she married my son doesn't mean she has to be his devoted servant. I saw myself in her. Wow. Okay, lady, you're kind of scaring me. But anyways, guys, I will see you guys back here in about three hours, and I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, we're back. Let's finish this off. So, you're Commander Ace. Well, I'm starting to think you never come into my humble office. Russell Crane, profiler at your service. Now, about that charm you found in the victim's bag. It obviously belongs to the killer. How can you be so sure? Well, by applying logic, psychology, and some intellectual guesswork. Let's see. A single, broken charm turned up in the victim's sport bag? No other jewelry was found on her, nor in the bag. Which makes sense, since jewelry is forbidden when playing a contact sport. The fact that the charm obviously broke away from its chain is also important. It means someone lost it while rummaging through the bag. And since we know Susie died from poisoning, what does that tell us about her killer? That they accessed her personal belongings to conceal the poison in something she'd ingest. Which means that this charm was dropped by Susie's killer. They're wearing charms. Commander Ace, isn't psychology brilliant? Well, in this case, a bit of common sense was enough. But Ace, don't hesitate to call me if you need any insight on the criminal mind. I love that. I love that aspect of him. Okay, and guys, again, I'm going to do instant analysis so we can speed this up. Ace, I know what killed the victim. A popular energy drink called Rocket Cow. <laughs> Instead of Red Bull. That's awesome. Pretty tasty stuff when you mix it with vodka. And it contains a high dose of caffeine. Wait, I don't get it. Why is caffeine important? I tested the victim for caffeine allergy, and boy, she scored higher than I do in drinking games. The anaphylactic shock killed her almost immediately. But, but if, if Suji was, Suji was allergic, why did she decide to drink? To drink? What was it? Rocket Cow before the match? Surely she avoided anything with caffeine in it. Well, Rocket Cow tastes like regular lemonade. She didn't know what she was drinking. She thought she had her usual drink in her bottle. Someone, and by someone I mean her killer, mixed some Rocket Cow and Susie's lemonade, and they made darn sure she would drink it. And check this out, I also found a note in her clothes. Look, Ace, it says, don't forget to drink a sip from your bottle before the big game. Here's the piece of paper the message was scribbled on. Ace, maybe you could take a closer look and see what it reveals about the killer. I love this. I love how they how they find a way to incorporate everyday stuff that we all know, but because of copyright, they can't put it in there. So it's a rocket cow. That's that's just hilarious to me. Oh, it's like music sheets. Ace, what are these symbols you revealed on the killer's message? A grid with some black dots? Well, this looks familiar. It looks like a... Oh, wait. I know what this is. It's a guitar tab. I played the guitar when I was little. I recognize it. The dots show you where to put your fingers on the strings. Don't tell me, Ace. Let me guess. If the killer wrote the message on a guitar tab, it means... It means the killer plays the guitar. I, 
I knew that too. Commander Ace, I don't get it. Why would anyone want to murder Susie Pickley? She seemed like a nice woman, despite playing a really violent game. So far, the only suspect who seems to have any animosity towards her is the hot-headed derby girl who plays on, on the rival team. But Susie's husband sounded devastated, and her mother-in-law obviously doted on her. I think it might have been her. Anyways, Russell says the killer wears charms. We've well, discovered that they play the guitar, and I think... Well, I don't know what to think. I'm sorry. Ace, you'll never believe it. I found a fan website about your victim, and the latest entry is called Susie's Life, The Truth Behind Her Murder. What? You mean someone knows why her victim was murdered? Hannah, this is huge. Oh, snaps. But guys, this is going to lead us to Chapter 2. So again, stay tuned for Chapter 2. Again, if this video gets 200 likes, I'm not going to wait my usual 12 to 16 hours, and I will upload it straight away. So you guys get to it. See you guys in a little bit. This is Vichy Ace 88. Over and out.